Hi, my name is Subhajit Roy and I'm an associate professor at the University of California in the departments of pathology and neurosciences. Today I'm going to tell you a story of how two proteins that are key in initiating the pathology of Alzheimer's disease are kept separate in the brain so that you can prevent pathology. In the first slide, what you see is a human brain with Alzheimer's disease. And a key pathology here is that the whole brain is studded with this protein, which is known as amyloid beta. The amyloid plaque is made up of a protein called APP, which is the amyloid precursor protein, which is cleaved by an enzyme that is known as base. And this cleavage of APP by base is an absolute essential step in the generation of the amyloid beta plaques. Both APP and BASE are made in huge quantities in both normal and Alzheimer's brains. And if they were to constantly meet, you would have a huge amount of amyloid beta plaques and consequent pathology. But this obviously does not happen because we don't all get Alzheimer's disease. So the question is, why not? You know what? Let me ask my postdoc Utpal. All right, Utpal. We all have APP and BASE in our brains, right? right. So why don't we all get Alzheimer's disease? Hmm. Okay, let me find it out. Okay, so this is what I found. Sometime after base is made, neuron packages it in a different vesicle, physically separating it from APP. We think that this physical separation of APP and the base is the reason why despite having high levels of both proteins, most of us don't have large amount of amyloid beta in our brains. We think that this physical separation of APP and base is the reason that why despite having high levels of both proteins, most of us do not have large amounts of beta amyloids in our brains. Previous studies have shown that neuronal activity, that is electrical activity in the brain, stimulates the production of beta amyloid. But the mechanism by which this happens is unknown. We found that when neurons are stimulated, there is a convergence of APP and base along with a concomitant rise in beta amyloid levels. In the image below, you can see that there is more yellow as the APP and base vesicles have converged. We also did further experiments that help define the basic pathway by which APP and base seem to converge as shown on the right. Next, we looked at postmortem brains from patients with Alzheimer's disease compared to controls. So remarkably, we found that while the distribution of APP and BASE was separate in normal brains, there was a convergence in brains of patients with Alzheimer's disease, suggesting that the basic concept of physical separation and convergence likely plays a role in human disease as well. Interestingly, these findings also suggest a new therapeutic option by which one could keep APP and base separate by using, let's say, a small molecule. And the physical separation of APP and base would prevent the production of amyloid beta and consequently Alzheimer's disease. So let's look at it with an example. Now, let's say Urchin is APP and Lena is base. So now, normally when I'm not around, these two are constantly chatting in the lab. But as soon as I enter, I see that they go their own separate ways. What we really need to do is to find something that can keep APP and base separated in the brains and prevent their constant convergence and production of large amounts of amyloid beta.